everyone, welcome back to Show A Little Skincare. My name is Danielle and it is time for the finale. It is week number eight. So today happens to be Friday, November 20th, 2015. And we have reached the end. It is time for my lovely model Natalie's last treatment. And of course, go figure. Well, Mother Nature rolled through and left her uh, path of destruction across my lovely model space. So we were looking amazing last week. So I guess it's a good thing we've got this one last treatment to try and clear up as much of this wreckage as we can so I can actually win this thing. So we are going to be doing one final peel. And if there's anything that needs extracting, I may actually go ahead and do that too and really just let her have it to see if I can't pull together some podium worthy results. And we will just have to see if I can pull off a miracle tonight. But I guess it's one of those things, you know, if you have female clients and they have reproductive organs, then hormonal breakouts are just going to be the name of the game. It is what it is. And I guess we can just consider it job security in our industry. It's kind of a bread and butter. So I know our clients who have hormonal breakouts don't want to hear that. But what can you do? Everybody's got to bring home a paycheck somehow. All right, so let's see if I can't throw out that Hail Mary and uh, maybe we should just fill the place with blenders, turn them all on and see if we can't whip up some miraculous results for this final treatment. Miss Natalie here forgot to stop using her nighttime retinol for the 24 hours prior to her treatment and she blanched very quickly. So I was not able to throw quite as much of my arsenal at her face as I was planning on this evening. So all we can do now is wait, watch, and hope. So I have instructed her to go home and pretty much just lock herself in a soundproof, lightproof, waterproof, lifeproof box for at least the next five days and to very meticulously care for her skin because it is gonna peel. And all we can do is wait and see what happens. So we'll be back in a few days and hopefully when we do, we will be revealing a beautiful new face and it will be the dawning of a new era for Natalie and the dawning of the era of me being crowned esthetician of the universe. I think that has a nice ring to it. So we will be back in a snap. We're back. So fast forward, it's been a few days. We went ahead and let my model, Natalie, go ahead and finish the cycle of her final treatment. So we are now here at the end of week eight. And now that her skin has gone ahead and sloughed all it's going to, we can finally reveal our final result. So today happens to be Black Friday, November 27th, 2015. We would have been here yesterday, but it was Thanksgiving, so I figured we should all take a day off. So Natalie, go ahead and hold that. Let's zoom in, get some final looks. <laughs> Much happier Natalie than those starting pictures. Okay. Way less acne. We've got one little pimple here that I just wanna, but we'll take that as a win. One pimple compared to where we started, nothing to worry about. She is very pleased with her final results. And we will go ahead and be continuing to treat the rest of the hyperpigmentation. Obviously, eight weeks is really not enough time to get all of that hyperpigmentation up and out of her skin. But we did manage to get quite a bit. So either way, her breakouts are gone. That we've got under control. And since we were competing in the acne category, I will call that a win. One pimple compared to where we started, that works for me. It's a good day in skincare. So we will hopefully see everyone in the finals and crown me Queen of the world. I guess that just keeps growing every time. Hmm. Esthetician of the universe, queen of the world, and God help all of us if I ever wind up in a seat of power. Stay tuned, there's still going to be a few more videos coming. I have uh, got enough bloopers to last a lifetime, so I figured I'd go ahead and dish some of those out for everyone's viewing pleasure. So make sure you keep an eye out for those, and I may even go ahead and continue to shoot some videos and pics of Natalie as we go ahead and continue to treat her skin. 
So if anybody wants to continue to follow along with her story and watch her skin continue to change, by all means, tune in, subscribe, click below, whatever else they say on YouTube. All that fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And we will see everyone after the new year for the finals. So we're going to go ahead and stick a fork in this one because we're done, baby. And we will be waiting for everyone in San Ramon. So I guess we're going to go ahead and say, may the odds be ever in my favor and call this one the last official game on.